We announced today that Accelerate is coming to Lane's End on, on his retirement, which should be at the end of this year. Um, he's a very exciting horse to us. We think he's really the best mile and a quarter horse in the country right now. Um, and being a son of Looking at Lucky, who is, of course, a, a son of Smart Strike, uh, really hits home here at Lane's End. We had had a tremendous run with Smart Strike and uh, being champion sire and and then you know producing some very good sons at stud not only looking at lucky who i think is one of the more underrated sires in the country but curlin and and english channel who were horses that both started their careers here and and did very well so uh we're we're very excited to have him and he's a great looking horse and uh, i think when breeders get to take a look at him they're really going to be impressed He's really not a typical smart strike. He's, he's got a lot more size and substance to him than a lot of the smart strikes. Um, certainly more so than English Channel and, and uh, but Curlin is more that body type. He's, he's uh, maybe not quite as massive as Curlin, but, but he is quite, quite muscular and, and very striking. Really, he's been a horse we've followed from the very beginning and, and a horse that uh, John Sadler's been high on for a long, long time. And, and to see him when he launched himself into the national spotlight when he beat Arrogate in the San Diego, that, that really, really put him out there to people. They, you know, Arrogate was unbeatable at that point and uh, he, he ran a super race. And, uh, you know, David and John Sadler saw it coming and I'm sure Costas Horonis also saw it coming, but, but he, they knew he was gonna run big, but to, to beat Arrogate when he did was very impressive, and um, and really that's a that's a great one win in any in anybody's book. But it was a Grade Two race, and came back next year and has pulled off an amazing three Grade One winning races. That you know really I guess it's only been done two other times in history that a horse has won those those three. You know the Hollywood Gold Cup, that which is now the the Gold Cup. Um, the Pacific Classic and the, uh, the Big Cap. So uh, all with 110 plus buyers up to 115, he really uh, has shown his, his true ability. And I think we're gonna get to see, if, see it a few more times. The, his goal is uh, awesome again out there, which is another grade one. And then, and then coming, coming east for the Breeders' Cup.